best of friends, you and me, pal. The fun will never end. Hi, this is your old pal Corky talking to ya. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't you come over and play at my house today? Boy, oh boy, what a fun time we're gonna have. Come on over to my house, come on over and play. Then I'll come over to your house and we'll have a really great day. We'll read some books and play some games and we won't care even if it rains. Cause in my room there's lots to do. My mom says it's okay if you come on over to my house. There's a big tree to climb. Then I'll come over to your house and we'll have a really great time. Come on over to my house. Come on over and play. Then I'll come over to your house and we'll have a really great day. Sometimes at my house I like to play in my room. I play engineer a lot. Cause I have a really neat train set. It has an engine and boxcars and a caboose. And there's farms and mountains and all kinds of neat things. My friend Zachary came over yesterday and we played train together. We took turns being the engineer. It was Zach's turn first. This train is headed for the Rocky Mountains, said Zach. Want to come along? Sure I do, I said. Then get ready to climb aboard, said Zach. And then he sang a really neat train song. It goes like this. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna get on at the station when the train comes along. Zachary stopped the train at the station, and I pretended to climb on board. Okay, Zach said. Now it's your turn, Corky. Better get your ticket ready, I said, because here comes the conductor. Now when I sing gonna punch your ticket, you punch your ticket two times just like a conductor. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna punch your ticket twice when the train comes along. That was fun, said Zachary. My turn again. Okay, I said. Are we at the Rocky Mountains yet? Uh-uh, said Zach. We gotta go through Death Valley first. Neato, I said. I better get my whistle ready. Now when I sing about the whistle blowing, you pull the cord on the train whistle up and down. And don't forget to sing. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna hear that whistle blow when the train comes along. Good one, said Zach. My turn, I said. We gotta make it out of the valley and up the side of the mountain. All the way to the top, said Zach. That's going to be a long haul. You know what I said, so be sure to turn the train wheels as hard as you can. I'll try, said Zach. Now I'm going to sing again, and when the train wheels start turning, you move your arms around and around and sing, too. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna see those wheels are turning when the train comes along. After a long, hard pull up the mountain, our train finally made it to the top. Yay, said Zach. The Rocky Mountains. We made it to the Rocky Mountains. Watch out, I said. We're going to zoom down the other side. Okay, buddy. Now you hold on tight and do everything we've already done. When the train comes along, when the train comes along, gonna see those wheels a turning, gonna hear that whistle blow, gonna punch your ticket twice, gonna get on at the station when the train comes along. Way to go, buddy! <laughs> I bet you're the fastest train ever. Now that you know how to be a fast train, let's play stop and go train. When you hear the music, you pretend you're a train going down the track. Walk around in a big circle and move your arms like the wheels. If you want, you can even blow your whistle. When the music stops, you stop at the station, let the people off, and then go again when the music starts. Now get ready to pull out of the station, because here we go. 
Okay, we're pulling out of the station. Easy does it. Now we're picking up speed. Walk faster. Faster. Here comes the next station. Now get ready to slow down and stop. Don't move now. The people are getting off. Wait. Wait. Okay. Get ready to roll. We're late, so we gotta hurry. Get going. That's it. Hurry. We gotta make it to the next station on time. Faster. We're almost at the station. We're almost there. And here it is. Hold still while the people get off. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, all aboard. Here we go. Okay, pal, we're on the straightaway now, and we gotta make up for the lost time. Let's go as fast as we can. Wowee! That's fast. I think we're gonna make it right on time. Here's the station, but oh no, we're going too fast to stop. We went right by the station. We gotta back up. Put your engine in reverse and walk backwards. That's it. Now stop. Phew, just in time. It's the end of the line for this train. Boy, oh boy. It's fun to pretend you're a fast train, and I'd like to run fast and pedal my bike fast, too. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll name three things and see if you can tell me which one is the fastest. Ready? Here goes. A wagon, a car, an airplane. Which one is the fastest? Well, a wagon isn't very fast, and a car is faster than a wagon. But a jet plane is the fastest. Here are three more things. Tell me which one is the fastest. A turtle, a horse, or a snail. Which one is the fastest? The right answer is a horse. Now I'll name three things you can do. See if you can tell me which one is the fastest. Crawling, running, or walking. Which one is the fastest? The fastest one of those is running. Did you get it right? Gee, you sure are smart. And that's a fact. Here's another game I like to play at my house. It's called Copycat. And it drives my sister Cricket bananas. If you want, you can be a copycat too. Just say everything I say right after I say it. And be sure you say it just like I do. Here goes. Now I am a copycat. Say that. And this is what I do. No matter what you say, I say it just like you. Now I am a copycat. And this is what I do. No matter what you say, I say it just like you. Now I am a copycat. And this is what I do. No matter what you say, I say it just like you. Wowee! Wasn't that a fun game? You make a great copycat. Hi there, pal. Are you ready for another great make-believe adventure? Well, I sure hope so, because this one's really exciting. It's all about pirates. Hey, let's go hunting for buried treasure right now. Okay, matey, here we are aboard the Silver Swan, the fastest pirate ship to ever sail the seas. Captain Drake's a nice guy, but we better stay out of his way just in case. Uh-oh, I can hear the captain now. He's shouting, 
Cast off! That means we better get to work. Cast off the lines on your side of the ship. That's it. Just throw them over on the dock. Did you do it? Great! Okay, now we have to raise the Jolly Roger. That's the pirate flag. Raise your arms high over your head and pull down on the rope. Here we go. Pull. And pull. And pull. Good work, pal. But that was the easy part. Now we have to climb up to the crow's nest. We're going to be lookouts. Hold on to that rope ladder good and tight. It's windy up there. Ready? Let's go. Climb up. And up. That's it. One foot after the other. Keep climbing. Better not look down. It's a long way. Phew. We made it. Now we have to keep a sharp lookout for land. We're looking for Skull Island. That's where the buried treasure is supposed to be. If you see anything, shout, Land Ho! Wait, I think I see something already. No, it's not land. It's just a whale. <laughs> whale boy, he sure is a big one. Hey, wait, look. Over on your side of the ship. It looks like land to me. Better let them know down below. Let's both shout, land ho. Ready? Here goes. Land ho. Land ho. We're all right. The captain heard us. He's heading into shore. Come on, buddy. It's time for us to climb down. We've still got more work to do. Here we go. One foot after the other. And don't forget to hold on tight. Okay, we made it. Now it's time to drop the anchor. Help me grab hold of that big chain, and we'll let it down a little at a time. Heave ho. That's it. Heave ho. Okay, matey. The anchor's down. Let's climb into the long boat and row us into shore. You take the right oar, and I'll take the left. Remember to keep your back straight and pull on the oars as hard as you can. Row, row. That's it. Nice and steady. Row, row. Good job. We made it. The captain's going to go around on the other side of the island, but I know a better place to look. It's called Smuggler's Cove. Come on, grab your shovel, and let's hurry. Hold up, mate. I think this is the spot. The treasure map says a place with three palm trees right next to each other, and there they are. One, two, three. Come on, let's start digging. I use the pick and you shovel the dirt out of the hole. Here we go. Dig, that's it, keep shoveling. It can't be too much deeper. Wait, did you hear something? I think you struck metal. Hey, maybe it's the treasure chest. Come on, buddy, dig faster, faster. Look, there it is. Here. Reach down and help me pull it out. Phew, is that just heavier or what? Okay now, are we gonna get that rusty old lock off? I know, hit it with the end of your shovel. I'll count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Great, you did it. Come on, let's open it up. Wow, we look at all that gold and silver. The captain sure will be surprised. <laughs> Maybe we'll even get a promotion. Which would you like to be, first mate or second mate? <laughs> okay by me. Boy, buried treasure sure is the best part of playing pirate, and that's a fact. Gee, I'm so glad you came over to play at my house. If you want, you can turn my tape over now and we'll play some more. Or we can take a break, and I'll see you later. But just remember, I'll be talking to you. Hiya, pal. How are you? It's me again, Corky. I'm going to play out in the yard with my truck. Want to come? Great. I 
I've got a fire truck and a dump truck and a cement truck. I like to pretend they're real trucks and I'm driving them. Tell you what, I know a song about some trucks and you can help me sing it. Just pretend you're the truck I'm singing about. Here we go. What kind of truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'll name a truck and we'll see if you could be that truck. Be a fire engine going fast. Let me hear your siren blast. Let me hear your siren now. Now here comes another truck. What kind of truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'll name a truck and we'll see if you could be that truck. You're a dumb truck with a load climbing up a real steep road. Let me hear your engine chug. truck and here it comes. What kind of truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'll name a truck and we'll see if you can be that truck. A big cement truck going around with a swishing whooshing sound. Now let me hear you mix that mushy cement. What kind of truck would you be if you could be a truck? I'm very happy to see that you could be a truck. One of the funnest things I do at my house is look at books. My favorite was written by a man named Samuel Clemens. When he was little, Sam used to get into all kinds of neat adventures especially on the Mississippi River, and I'm going to tell you one of them right now. Every day on his way home from school, Sam stopped at the river to watch the steamboats go by. His favorite was the Delta Queen, the fastest boat on the Mississippi. Gee, said Sam, I wish I could be a riverboat pilot someday. And then Sam had the greatest idea. I know, he said, I'll take a ride on the Delta Queen and try to learn how to be a captain. So Sam ran down the dock and hopped aboard the steamboat. He hid behind some boxes till the boat was all loaded up. And then the Delta Queen chugged into the river and headed south. I wonder what to do now, said Sam. And then he had another idea. He went up the stairs to the pilot house and hid outside the window. I can watch the captain from here, he said. But I bet you'll never guess what happened then. Sam sneezed. Uh-oh, said Sam. I am in big trouble. And sure enough, out came the captain of the Delta Queen. What have we here, said the captain. Looks like a stowaway to me. Oh, no, sir, said Sam. I'm not a stowaway. Well, then, said the captain, how are you going to pay for your trip? Maybe I could help steer the boat, said Sam. And before Sam could say another word, the captain took him into the pilot house. All right, my boy, said the captain. Let's see what you can do. So Sam grabbed hold of the big steering wheel, but it was so big, it spun him around and threw him against the wall. Better use two hands, said the captain. And then he turned the wheel back on course. Try again. Well, Sam was a little scared, but he wouldn't let that stop him. He put both hands on the wheel and held as hard as he could. And this time, the wheel stayed steady. That's the way to do it, said the captain. Now watch out for that log jam up ahead. But, said Sam, I don't see a log jam. That's because you don't know what to look for, said the captain, and he pointed off the starboard bow. Sam turned the wheel just in time and steered the boat away from the log jam. Good work, said the captain. I guess I have a lot to learn about being a pilot, said Sam. I'll teach you, said the captain. When would you like to start? Mm, maybe in a couple of years, said Sam. First, I've got to finish school. And right now, I'm late for supper. 
The captain just laughed and said, Okay, Sam, I'll let you off. The next time you want to ride on the Mississippi River, better build yourself a raft instead. Yes, sir, said Sam, and he hopped off the boat at the next landing. And you know what? Sam did learn to be a pilot on the Mississippi. And after that, he went out to California and even went to Hawaii, too. He had lots of neat adventures and wrote lots of books about them. Hey, maybe someday you could write a book about your adventures. <laughs> That'll be neato, don't you think? Gee, I sure like that story. And I hope you got all rested up while I told it. Because now we're going to play a jumping game. Here's all you do. Listen. And when I say the word jump, you jump as high as you can. Get set, because here we go. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Did you do it? Did you jump when I said jump? Great. Here's another one. Hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> That's the way. Now here comes a long one. Get ready to jump a lot. There was a man with yellow socks who jumped into a cardboard box. The cardboard box was much too narrow. He jumped into an old wheelbarrow. That old wheelbarrow began to roll. He jumped into a rabbit hole. The rabbit cried, what's this about? The man turned around and jumped right out. He jumped on down the road a while. Before he knew it, he jumped a mile. He jumped and jumped right into bed. I've jumped enough, he finally said. Now we're going to play another game. Only you won't have to move around so much. That's because it's about a kitten who is sitting on a fence in my backyard. I'm going to tell you what happened to him. And you can help me. When I ask you how many, see if you can tell me the answer. Let's try it. One kitten sat on a fence all by herself. Then another kitten came along and sat down beside her. How many kittens were on the fence? The answer is two kittens. One and one are two. Now listen again and tell me how many. One puppy came along and chased the kittens. Then another puppy came along and chased the kittens. How many puppies chased the kittens? I hope you said two puppies. Because that's the answer. Here comes another how many question. One little boy came along and chased the puppies. Then another little boy came along and chased the puppies. How many boys chased the puppies? The answer is two little boys. And what do you think happened then? The two little boys got tired and went home. Then the two puppies got tired and went home. But only one kitten got tired and went home. The other kitten came back, and what do you think he did? He sat on the fence. Do you have favorite things? Well, I sure do. I've got a favorite shirt I wear a lot, and a favorite pair of sneakers, too. Hey, why don't you tell me about some of your favorite things? I'll ask you what color they are, and you tell me. Wowee! This will be neat! <laughs> Think about your favorite shirt, the one you like the best. What color is your favorite shirt? See if I can guess. Green, blue, red, yellow, did I guess the one? What color is your favorite shirt? Tell me just for fun. Tell me the color now. Think about your toothbrush, the one you like the best. What color is your toothbrush? See if I can guess. Green, blue, red, yellow, did I guess the one? What color is your toothbrush? Tell me just for fun. Tell me the color of your toothbrush now. Think about your favorite pants, the one you like the best. What color are your favorite pants? See if I can guess. Green, blue, red, yellow, did I guess the one? What color are your favorite pants? Tell me just for fun. Tell me the color now. For adventures, I'm so glad you came. There are mountains to climb and lions to tame. Let's have
have adventures. Let's have a bunch. We can fly around the world and be back for lunch. One of my favorite make-believe places is the old wild west. Let's pretend we're there right now. Try to think of some things we could be, like a cowboy or an Indian brave. Got any ideas? Hey, I just thought of something. Let's be stagecoach drivers. That'll be fun. Okay, partner. Here we are in Flagstaff, Arizona. This stage is moving out in 10 minutes. We gotta get to Tombstone by 4 o'clock, because that's when the Kansas City train is leaving. So pull on your boots and put on your cowboy hat. I'll go check on the passengers. Yep, they're all inside. You see if the strong box is loaded up. How about it? Well, all right, partner. Let's go. We got a team of six horses, so you better take the reins and do the driving. I'll ride next to you and be the guard. Ready? Let's move them out. Hey, I like the way you're handling this team of horses. That's the way. Keep a hold of the reins with two hands. We're heading for some mighty rough territory. First, we gotta travel over Saddleback Ridge. And there it is, just up ahead. Okay, buddy, this is gonna be a test of your driving skill. The trail along the ridge is pretty narrow, so keep a tight rein. That's it, don't let those horses get away from ya. Wowee, it's a long way down. Whoa, watch it. The back wheel is starting to slip off the road. Better pull hard on your reins. Harder. That's it. All right. We're back on the road. Way to go, partner. We're on the downhill side now. Just a little ways more and we'll be in Brush Creek Canyon. Phew, we made it. You can slow down and give those horses a breather. There's only one thing I'm worried about. Brush Creek's the canyon where the getaway gang hangs out. They're the baddest bandits in the territory. I'd hate to think what would happen if... Oh no! Don't look now, but I think we're being followed. Better grab a hold of your whip and get ready to make a run for it. If we can just make it out of the canyon, they'll never catch us on the open road. Uh-oh! Just what I was afraid of. It's the getaway gang, all right? It's up to you now, buddy. Put the reins in your right hand and crack that whip with your left. Hee-ya! Make those horses run. That's the way. Ha! Giddy up! Faster! Faster! They're gaining on us! Crack that whip! Harder! Only a half a mile to go. Hey, look! Three of them are giving up! There's only one left, and it looks like Black Bart himself. He's the baddest of the bunch. But hey, I can see the end of the canyon. Another quarter mile, and we're home free. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Giddy up! Giddy up! Giddy up, horses! Giddy up! All right, partner, you did it. We're out of the canyon, and Black Bart is leaning in his horse. <laughs> See you later, Bart. Better luck next time. You can take it slow now, pal. It's easy going from here on. And I bet you we've even made the Kansas City train. Hey, you're pretty good at this stagecoach driving. <laughs> you sure you haven't done this kind of thing before? Gee, buddy, thanks a lot for coming over to my house. We'll have to do it again sometime real soon. You know, you're about the best pal a guy could ever have. You and me, pal. Before the day is through, you and me, pal. We got a lot to do. You know you've always been my very special friend. And every day I like you more. I really think you're great. We ought to celebrate, don't you think? That's what pals are for. If you want, you can turn my cape over now. And just remember, I'll be talking to you.